wonder if crack is that good. <laughs> How good does crack make? It's got to be. Good? People ruin their lives. Can we get a crackhead as a guest? I would like that. That would be amazing. I did get. Yeah. Don't I bet we could slash find one. tell us. <laughs> what? I was teasing. I was like, slash tell us what crack is. I have taken a lot of drugs. Uh, but like, ah. I'm, uh, uh, short of like intravenous drugs, I haven't, I've never taken intravenous drugs, but I have taken. It, this is in a legal environment, obviously, in international waters, mm-hmm. but I have taken, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, yeah, DMT, acid, uh, ecstasy, fucking mushrooms, smoked weed, done speed, cocaine, and uh, a variety of other different types of ecstasy, uh, like those designer the, drugs. Because we've, we've had, uh, we've had and stuff um, like that. So, uh, I mean, Sean speed, speed is similar. Speed, speed is similar to you know, crack cocaine, but apparently it's not like as addictive. Which one is the know? best time? Um, probably acid. Acid depends really what you're fun. doing. And yeah, it depends what you're doing. Weed, weed gets boring after a little while, and then it's just sort of humdrum. And I, okay, can I jump in on weed? I, I I have nearly finished a vape pen. And I've had some Delta Eight gummies. That's like my experience. Mm. I find weed is a little overblown. Like there are people who just maybe it's not as good for me as other people, but it's subtle. To even being high is like all right. I, all right mm-hmm. I'm definitely high. I feel like yeah. I have to hold the handrail more carefully going down the stairs. Like I'm I'm high. I'm high. But I don't get why people want to be high all the time. It's almost just a sleep aid to me. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not getting the fun about mm-hmm. it. I don't, yeah, everyone, I mean, it does make everyone, movies more but, interesting. Yeah. I, I like getting high to watch a movie. That's that's good. And it depends that's how a, how how high you're getting. Like like a, yeah. someone like Kyle, like he enjoys getting so blitzed he can hardly remember his name. I I hate that. I that's yeah. unpleasant. I don't want that. I want like more than I'm just tired. Like I got a nice buzz from it, but that's about where I want to be with weed. Like I don't want to get that like motor delay feeling. That's very uncomfortable. I don't like that. But. Yeah, I know. I know. I have so many friends in college because like, everybody was smoking a shit ton of weed in college, as people tend to do. And they would like every single time, like, be like, "Hey, Josh, you want to smoke?" He's like, "No, dude, hell no. That shit is evil for me. Like, it gives me like he would smoke sometimes and just get full on panic attacks, like feeling like like the sky was yeah. falling. Like, that's not happening like, to me. Like, I, like, I, his, like, like his like his like his like his parents were gonna die while he was high, or oh, I can't even. I, I'm too high to even drive if my brother in Indiana needed help, and it's like, what the fuck are you talking yeah. about? Like, see, I'd always out. smoke like, so much that I'd be like so high that I couldn't understand what was going on, and then I'd be freaking out, thinking that I was having a fucking aneurysm because I'm like, oh, I'm so high that I can't understand what's happening, which means my brain is shutting down, and then I'd have a panic attack. But that only happened after like smoking for years and years and smoking mm-hmm. way, way so much. But it was probably to do with other drug use lowering my serotonin like taking a lot of uh taking a lot of speed and uh ecstasy at the time when i was in my early 20s is there a word for that like a term for it when you mix speed and ecstasy uh no uh well it was usually just whatever we could get i don't know because like i asked because you just get like that you know the term is that that that. what candy flipping is no 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 Uh, no candy Uh, flipping is uh acid into ecstasy oh okay I was hoping or, there was or, some, yeah. uh, some phrase for it like that, some term for it like yeah. that. <laughs> it's always entertaining. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Like, like we've got a lot of DJs in the uh, in the in the fifty dollar hangouts, and then they'll be in there. <laughs> yeah, he was candy flipping, went crazy, <laughs> he never came back. And I'm like, what the yeah. fuck are y'all even talking about? <laughs> I, I, I say some, I've seen some pretty good ones on acid though. Like uh, we we took a whole bunch with uh, a few of our mates once, and one of my one of my friends was having a freak out, and he was up. He's like up on the kitchen table, just buck-ass naked with a, this, this like, turgid erection. And he was freaking out because he's like, my, my cock won't go not hard. And he was freaking out that he was like, <laughs> his cock was, like, going to kill him because it had been hard for so long. And he's, hmm. like, wielding a kitchen knife, like, threatening to cut his own cock off. What? And right, we just, from and acid? All, this is, this yeah, sounds we, horrible. We, we took a lot. But, like, we're all, like... How much? We're all, uh, like fucking four tabs each yeah i took that <laughs> like, mu- i took that much and i dude. sat in a chair and watched fantasia dude. and giggled oh he he just freaked out <laughs> it was it, it was <laughs> yeah he's just up there wielding a knife threatening to cut his own cock off like it was he, wow. could, he just he just had a really bad trip but see that's, that's uh, every, be every trip every trip yeah. yeah. oh, i don't trip. want a crazy that's person sure. with a knife <laughs> 
Yeah. Ugh. They no, calm down he, eventually. That's, that's yeah. awful. I had a roommate. One I would never that, do drugs with that guy ever again. I had a roommate that went crazy one night with a knife, but he was just like, I think he was just trying to scare me because he had like the crazy eyes, but he chased me around the parking lot with a butcher knife. Jesus. Yeah. What? Yeah. Was he quick or I guess not. See, the thing was he wasn't trying to catch. That's why I think he was just trying to scare me because he never caught. He could have stabbed me to death if he ever wanted to, but he was just trying to mm-hmm. fuck with me. I never could figure out why he was. He never did that again. Like he just got really drunk and like, I couldn't tell if he was just messing with me or if he had actually like gotten a little weird that night because he just like got out a knife and like kept like chasing me around with it until I was outside running around a car. Jesus, that's scary. <laughs> yeah, I, I just remembered that. How did how did it end? Did did he just like lose interest drunkenly and like I'm going finally to the other roommate got home and I convinced him to get up some other hijinks and I think there was like a, a we went and like did some petty vandalism or something. Keep in mind, I'm 19 and they're like 25. <laughs> like, 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 I. It's okay for me to be there, like stealing a fire extinguisher and spraying it in a parking lot. They, they had no excuse. They, had, we all had jobs in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was That's what I was like when I was 25. <laughs> do shit like that all the time. <laughs> no, but, but I, I, you, you'd get you'd get high on your candy flipping and then go fuck with uh, the yeah, public I mean, parks. Yeah, I was I was terrible up up until I was uh, I sort of moved in with my wife with, with, with my girlfriend at the time but it became my wife i was i was terrible i just get high every night and just fuck around and do dumb shit like that he so spent was, a lot of time in international yeah. waters yeah yeah exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> out of my out of my bike <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly yeah that's that's I, i'm see, stealing that see. that is the best way to tell drug stories so one time i was yeah. on in international waters yeah. <laughs> it's, D, dmt is definitely the the most intense experience but it's it's very short it's like you smoke as much as you can and then you just go to space and then you come back like 15 minutes later. That's the, if you, if it's visuals you're after, that shit is just fucking mind That's what everyone says. Did you use a vape or did you like smoke it out of uh, an oil? Uh... Yeah, smoke it out of like an oil bong thing that my mate had. I, he, he was like, yeah, you do this. This is insane. And I'm like, how do I do it? And he's like, just smoke three as quickly as you can. And I'm like, all right, let's, let's, <laughs> let's go to hell apparently. But it was like, <laughs> It was intense, like fucking seeing aliens and like fucking. You saw, you saw them. Fun. Did you see them? Well, it was it's because the guys like yeah, people see like aliens and uh, like these like fucking overlord things and like Joe Rogan talks about this shit where he's like, oh, I see, I saw God and I talked to God and stuff like that. But I think if you're going into it and then you're like, this shit makes you see God, then that's in the back of your mind. And then when you're in there, it's like you're gonna see it because you were just talking about it. So it's like, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it, but it's more like just hands coming at you and fucking just crazy shit. I like wouldn't you, like hands see, coming at me. I want to yeah, see, you see shit. What I, I want to see. You remember, um, like in like the, the late nineties, what screensavers used to be on. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. I want that. Okay. For you kids. Out that's, which yeah. one? That's more mushroom. That's more the, like the, the, the tubes, right? The tubes. The tubes or the fish. Or the I want I want the tubes and the fireworks. I want both yeah. at the same Ooh. time. Those were my two favorites. Oh, I just remember I'd go in the yeah. library and this is literally like 1994, 1993, somewhere in there. And, you know, they had the computers to check out books and shit already. We were ahead of ourselves. And I just remember like staring at those you know like to a seven-year-old that was the coolest thing ever because i don't think we got a computer <laughs> thank you zach <laughs> oh! Yeah. Oh, Zach came up big. all right Get, well done hot load i like I, that i love the dubs imagine how that feels the first time you see that when you've never seen technology <laughs> like that before okay yeah. it comes at you <laughs> it was coming at you it was as 3d as you could imagine and it was on those old like you know crtv things that it was the yeah. thing had less power than my phone i guarantee like maybe a hundredth my what my phone has now it's crazy to think it was, about it was now. the times that we would we, we'd take mushrooms like our friends would pick mushrooms mm-hmm. we'd dry them out and then grind them up and put them into little capsules and we'd go out to the bar and we'd just like eat a shitload of these and then come back and then just sit there and watch visual shit like that on youtube like we'd just have the tv in the lounge room all of us would just be high off our ass on mushrooms just watching what essentially was a fucking screenshot save if you just if you, the best fucking time ever if you search um if you search like psychedelic video yeah. stuff on like youtube you get some great stuff we watch this uh if they have like music accompaniment uh like like dirty and i were like staring at this thing where it's like the visual is very similar to a very fast boat making that the ripples it makes across a lake 
you know how and, and it's just this 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 the the front point of that boat is just never ending splitting the water around it and making that ripple behind and it's like zooming into that infinitely like getting closer and closer to yeah, the like, point of that boat yeah. but it doesn't matter how much you zoom it's all you're yeah. always looking at the same thing yeah, fra- it's, it's, like, it's like a fractal yeah. it's a fractal yeah, yeah. animation so no matter how much you zoom spin or do whatever there's more of it and the music is going na 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 and it was almost like a like a bass drop like like when you really like escalate the visuals and i just remember dirty being like yeah when like the bass drop like he's like yeah yeah that's it that's it right there like like i don't know what he was seeing but it the visuals and stuff like that are just crazy if you take enough though you can just stare at the wall and that happens like oh yeah or the clouds I do, I do remember once we uh we uh, took a heap of mushrooms and being in this uh this nightclub thing and pissing into the toilet and I was I was watching my piss going into the toilet but the toilet bowl was like going like like making oh, a, a motion like that and I was just like that toilet is like sentient and drinking the piss out of my cock it is like oh, no. chugging it <laughs> and I'm just standing there just going. Whoa! Drink it up, big boy. <laughs> yeah, so I can chug it, motherfucker. <laughs> it was, Your that, friends that are outside crazy. the bathroom. Yeah. Like, did he just say drink it up, big boy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he yeah, that one was fucking <laughs> weird. Yeah. No, did you have any really fun, just uh horrible experiences with psychedelics? Because all the ones you've said so far nah. seem like they're a lot of fun. No, nah, I've never I've never had a bad one. No. Nah. Except for my yeah, friend That's sort good. of losing his shit, but that was like he calmed down eventually. It didn't go on for that long. Of course, when you're an acid, it feels like it goes on for 10 years. I, but I think, if, I think if you're mentally weak, you have bad experiences. And maybe that's a stupid, maybe that's an ignorant thing for me to say. But like, I think like underlying, I it was like uh, if you were, uh, underlying if you were shit. stressed out, how does mental yeah. strength help your acid experience? You feel like I, you're in I think you can guide forward. yourself away from and anytime something starts seeming a little odd. You can, you can still get a hold of yourself and being, and be like, hey, I'm here taking this silly stuff that's making me see silly things. I need to get into a better mood and think happier yeah. thoughts, or I'm going to see nasty stuff or think about. I think nasty if you're things. like logical about it, like if you if you're in there yeah. and you're like, it's just chemicals in my brain, nothing's happening, like I'm just chilling. And I'm always but able it, to do that on anything, yeah. like like especially like alcohol. Like I, I I've been in the bathroom of a <laughs> restaurant vomiting and and been and I'm and just wasted, barely coherent, and I'm thinking to myself, or even saying to myself out loud, well. You did it again. <laughs> Everybody's here for you. You're throwing up the chilies. You're not going to get laid. You're not even going to be able to jerk off tonight. You're so fucked. <laughs> Are you happy? Because <laughs> like so many I, times, like people would just buy me too many drinks and then I get I, I wouldn't be able to say no because it's, it's free. And on the I mental drink yeah, night, part? It's where we started from like i feel the same way like i often i feel like i do that better than the other people in my life you know who just get overwhelmed and pressured and whatever and i'm like all right let's compartmentalize this into the things i can control and the things i can't the things i can't let's mm-hmm. put those aside and stop worrying the things i can control what actions am i taking whether it works or not if i'm doing the right shit stop sweating it what else are you gonna do yeah and that's, that's, that's that does make sense. That well. I, i've some of my friends, I have very little experience with the psychedelic side of things, but like the way my friends who are more into it have explained it is they say it's more about mindset going in. Like if you yep. just lost your job or if your dog died the day before, they would be like, no, don't don't go in. If you have like stressors and fears and stuff that are kind of forefront that you're that you're thinking about, go into it when you are in a good mood and like it's going to augment whatever you're feeling when you do it. And so if yeah. you're in a horrible, depressed place and you do it, it's going to it's going to turn out badly for you. Man, Maybe I that's you know, I'm sure that's not a hard and fast rule, but that's what they said to me. I, They've done enough that I, like, I, I don't feel any of that. I, I'm st- I'm 100 percent like still me like I, I, I'm this me. I'm just more easily entertained and I'm seeing some wacky stuff like, like that's the extent of it. So when I would see yeah. like other people being like, ooh, and like, I'm like. Sit up fucking straight. What's your problem? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what, are you, what are you doing? Get up off. Why stuff are you swimming in the carpet? The only stuff that ever did that to me was DMT. But the, the rest of the shit, it's like like any of the like ecstasy and uh like speed, it's just like it just makes you more talkative and more sort of energetic. Like LSD, like you, colors are a little bit brighter and stuff. 
like it, unless you take fucking heaps of it but it's then even then it's just sort of visuals but they're not like it's not like the mushroom men are coming it's like it's more like you look at the wall and the walls moving and it's bright colors like it's not, yeah yeah what you what, like, what's what's already mm-hmm. there for you is being altered there nothing yeah. new is being created though yeah but if you um, I sort did of notice like, i had a hard time walking a I had a hard yeah. time walking downstairs. Uh, my knee, I was like, we were all like weak at the knees for some reason going downstairs. Um, I inexplicably, I don't know. Why. Was it a perception thing? Like you, no, like never... our knees were knocking like, 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 like at the knee. It was, it was like fluttering, like, like going downstairs every time yeah. we would put, I would put weight on it. Yeah. It was weird. I can't explain that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That is bizarre. I had so been when you're sitting saying there speed for slush. Yeah. You mean uh, cocaine, right? No, I, no, more like uh, it. It depends, like different kinds of speed, like speed sulfate, like an amphetamine, and, uh, like, like, me- like and, amphetamines, like, like, uh, fucking crystal meth and shit like that. But just it, it all gets called speed. It's all the same shit. It's just an amphetamine essentially. So it's. And you really yeah. enjoyed those back in the day. That was your go-to. Do that. I used to, but it was like. Uh, oh, it, speed was probably the one that I took the most, but it sort of just got old after a while. It was like. Yeah, I'm sitting around just taking speed with my mates, having the same conversations. This is getting kind of boring. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's enough for me. Did you guys then, come up yeah. with, uh, because I, I know from being around people doing lots of cocaine that like they always like come up with business ideas that don't make a lot of sense and they like want to get you in on the ground floor with some fucking retardation yeah. nonsense. Like, did, oh, yeah. did, would they do that on speed too? Because like oh, yeah, I, I can yeah, like explicitly <laughs> picture it at this Halloween party from like five years ago, seeing two of my close friends just gacked out of their mind, like talking like over the appetizers, being like, "This isn't a bluff, bro. We're doing this. We're doing." Yeah. This. I don't know what they were talking about, <laughs> but, but I know they we're doing this. And they're like, dude, yeah. dude, I'm well, gonna text yeah. you in the fucking. I'm gonna fucking text you in the morning, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna set it up. I got a guy. I got a guy at retail. He can set it up. For, and that was like, there's no way. I know both of them. That didn't get like, going. Speed is like speed's like that. Speed's is like pretty much like cocaine, except uh it lasts for way longer and it's not as strong. So like if you if you do like one line in the last like a few hours, like it, it's like uh cocaine is just like bang, and then 40 minutes later you're like, fuck that was Moorish, Trump for more. It's like are uh, mushrooms what? uppers or downers? Am I too quiet? Well they're they're hallucin- hallucinogenics, so like uh mm-hmm. acid mushrooms and like yeah, you got a whole other category and, like, there yeah, you get, yeah hallucinogenics yeah, that's okay. why you could you can mix an upper or downer with one of your hallucinogens and then you can yeah. that, that that's that that's when things can get a little scary right so if you add if you were to take adderall and lsd you might go on some frantic scary journey where you're seeing like lightning bolts and you don't like that yeah. at all but uh but you know if you just smoked a lot of weed you might just really enjoy fantasia <laughs> mm-hmm. I would fall asleep. Yeah. That's what would ha- I would. Weed is a waste of money for me because it just is a sleeping. Well, unless you need a sleeping drug, but I yeah. barely experience being high because I don't understand I mean, that. Like, like I'm so stoned right now. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I can do a pop one and show you. <laughs> like, like, well, I am <laughs> what you want to do. You, see. Would you like to see me asleep for the last two hours of the show? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what do you call this when you add when you mix bang energy drink with with gas station THCO? Like, like, if this is like, this is like white trash flipping or something like that. I don't, I don't know what. This Dude, is. the bang is the more dangerous thing you're holding. Those yeah. things are panic attacks. I'm sipping in a can. I'm sipping. It's so fucking yeah. awful. It's got something called super creatine in it and EAA aminos. Super and, and you know who would, you, you know who would come super down hard creatine. on that super creatine claim? Derek, because there is not an efficacious dose, and apparently super creatine is a proprietary name that they have. Uh, you know, obviously trademarked, and it's not even a bioavailable form of creatine. Apparently, it's literally called "quote unquote" super creatine. They don't even tell you how much there is. Yeah, it's because it's not bio. It's just like a, it's a marketing thing. Super creatine. Bang. <laughs>